Scribble Stones by Diane Elber. This story is about one happy stone who was gray and round and rarely alone. He lived with the others all stacked in a pile and waited calmly with a large friendly smile. Each stone had a purpose, but it wasn't known yet. Some would be landscaping and some a stone pet. There were so many things that the stones could be. The hardest part was just waiting to see. Stone knew that his purpose would be bright in someone's day. He just wasn't sure how or in what kind of way. He imagined the things that he might soon become as he watched all the stones get picked up one by one. <clears throat> but his happy face slowly turned to a frown as he watched the tall pile start to dwindle on down. And although he was worried, he tried not to care until it was clear he was the last one there. Then it finally happened! Stone was quickly picked up. He was placed on a desk next to a very large cup. Hmm, as Stone looked around, he thought, this is great, but he soon discovered he was a dull paperweight. I'm supposed to bring happiness, not hold paper still. There must be a mistake. This just can't be my skill. Then, all of a sudden, a splatter flew high, and then some bright scribbles came wiggling by. They were headed right towards the short paper stack, and they filled up the paper on the front and the back. They were all making art. It was happening so fast. Stone feared that the paper would simply not last. He couldn't believe just how much the pile grew. Then he heard a small cry from the fun splatter crew. Ah! We knew that the pile was getting too tall. There's no more paper. We have used it all. The scribbles all cried. They now saw it too. This is a disaster. Oh, what will we do? Stone didn't want the scribbles to cry, so he thought of something that they could try. He slowly rolled down the very large pile and said, I know how to make you all smile, and I know I'm not paper, but I like art too. Do you think you could spare some red, yellow, and blue? They loved the idea and could not wait to start. Scribble began making a happiness heart. Splatter then painted some pale baby blue. Another scribble added a sunny gold hue. It didn't take long before more stones showed up, and soon the line grew behind the large red cup. To Stone's surprise, he was picked up once more. He had never heard of this happening before. More art was added when he was on his way to become a small gift to brighten someone's day. Nearby, another stone's journey had begun. He was spreading such happiness and having great fun. Every time he traveled, someone added their part, sometimes just a scribble, sometimes fancy art. With each new layer, there was an old story to share, and soon scribble stones were seen everywhere. They traveled the planet. It was quite an event, bringing happiness and fun wherever they went. Now thousands of stone inspire creativity each day, all because of a paperweight with a will in a way. All right, so this is the Scribble Stone Art Project, and it says Scribble Stones are intended to inspire creativity and spread happiness through collaboration art. Find a stone and add some art. A scribble, a splatter, or a happiness heart. Then give it away and let someone know that this scribble stone makes happiness grow. 
It's so very simple and easy to do. Just add some more art and give it away too.